Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. And thank you very much, everyone, for attending today's sessions. Not sessions, actually, our presentation. It's really a pleasure for me because um, being a team member with this amazing team is really was an honor. So everyone was amazing. So especially Emmanuel, Dai, and Snesha. So we did a lot of collaboration, did uh, late night discussions, and that's how we actually come across in this to this presentation. So in this subject, I would like to actually thank to our honorable teacher who actually helped us uh, throughout the course that um, what is like um, data network and everything, IP addressing, subnetting, especially which is my part, I'm going to talk about in details in this presentation. So sir, thank you very much for teaching us uh, throughout this semester. And yeah, um, let me have a look. Actually, I would like to thank uh, especially the Emmanuel and Dai and Snesha for having me in your group. And I'm really, really feeling so honored today. All right, so to this presentation, we're going to be actually talking about, especially I'm going to talk about the IP addressing and subnetting. And our honorable team member, Dai, is going to talk about the diagrams. At the same time, Emmanuel is going to talk about the, all the security functions. And at the end, our beautiful lady, our <laughs> Snesha um, team members, is going to actually talk about the conclusion and everything. OK. Before starting our presentation, let me tell you a story. Let me actually take all of you in a real life situations. Every day in our house, we use different sort of devices. So we communicate with each other. We sometimes call our uh, family members. We you know, sometimes go in a video call. Sometimes we give them, uh, give them text messages. At the same time, so we have our house, which has got unique address. So if you try to actually order something from online, we give our address specifically with the uh, road name, house number, at the same time, unit number. And then we actually get the delivery. OK, so the same thing happened in network as well, which is called IP address. So when we are trying to actually communicate with the devices, they actually just um, try to identify the IP address. And that's how they can actually detect the device and just send the message to the you know, um, specific device that we want to actually send the messages. OK, so yeah, uh, that's the real life example why really it is important because IP addressing is important to identify that perfect device that we are going to actually um, send messages um, specifically. At the same time, so we would actually take these organizations, for example, for today's uh, presentation. This is like Redico International, which is based in uh, Australia in New South Wales, uh, who are actually uh, who usually imports different sort of electrical devices. So in these organizations, uh, they have got a lot of departments, IT departments, admin controls, at the same time sales uh, departments. So they use usually use a lot of devices. So they need to actually uh, communicate with each other. So we, in a group, we actually break down all the network diagram for based on these organizations that we're going to talk about. OK, so the another most important thing about the IP address is that it actually, it's like a home address, as I told you. So if there is a wrong address, you might not actually get the wrong, um, right information. So you need to actually put the right IP address for identifying the right device. Same thing, same thing like happened in the home address as well. So what is subnetting? Subnetting actually does the bigger thing. You know, big complicated thing. It's divided into smaller parts, making the whole things much more easier and making the communications even better. So that is what the submitting is. It's just think about um, you are living in Melbourne City. So it has got like maybe downtown, maybe uptown. So the downtown and uptown, is, it's kind of uh, subnetting, you can say that. So it comes with a lot of networks together, and then it actually sends all those sort of information. Yep, so if you have a look, uh, there are like some advantages and disadvantages of understanding the IP address and subnetting. It actually, uh, can you back, go back to the previous slides? So if you have a look here, so every device needs a unique identification communication, just like every house has unique addresses. And if you just have a look here, subnetting improves the speed and security by limiting unnecessary traffic and keeping sensitive, um, sensitive systems uh, separate. So if you have a look the network diagram, we were able to see that I have already covered um, in my presentation that it has got a lot of devices that are actually connecting to each other. So how we are actually you know, identifying the devices is only based on the IP address. Even like the video, social media, uh, those sort of things also 
um, I rely on the IP address as well. So, um, and if you have uh, looked, the IP address, it sounds like or seems like so complicated to understand what's going on here. There are so many numbers, binary, octal, and everything. But um, that's how we need to actually subnetting the IP address and I um, identify the perfect one. So, yeah, that's what I try to actually put um, in the upcoming slides as well. It's kind of a you know theoretical thing, so there would be a lot of uh, things that I'm not going to actually talk about today. That's what we, we have done. I have just actually showed here. Yeah. Now I would like to actually welcome Dai, who is going to actually talk about the um, network diagram in details. Dai, please welcome. So my part is done. Now we go into usually one of our cybersecurity expert, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel Spanger to talk about network security. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm here to talk about a little bit of the security. Now imagine after all that, you make the whole network, everything ready. There's one person in the basement doing something evil, right? So why network security is important? First, you don't want your data leaked everywhere. So your secret files, for example, you don't want a random person to see if your security is scalable as well. Yep. Yep. And I'm gonna pass to Sinesha to finish our presentation. So uh, in 10 seconds, thank you. All right, everyone. So we tried to actually um, do as much research as possible with the great, great team. And thank you very much, everyone, for listening to us throughout this presentation. Thank you, sir. And I would like to thank to my, not my, being a team members in this amazing group. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, you can actually ask. Okay. Well done. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.